guys, we're still here at FEM uh, with Marcella Bobbio from Stream of Passion. How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. Happy birthday! Thank you! <laughs> Can good. I ask the number? Nah. <laughs> 25, of course. Always. That's very nice. <laughs> you guys are still touring, promoting uh, War of Our Own. Um, are you working on new stuff already too? Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, we are. Uh, it's going good. You know, we just started, so we have just a few songs, a few ideas, but uh, I'm excited. Cool. Now I'm intrigued. Um, uh, we remember that you still had um, the crowdfunding campaign you did to release a war of our own uh, was funded twice as much. Are you going to um, to release the next CD also from that campaign, from that funding? Well, we haven't decided yet. We, actually, we haven't really talked about it. But I think, you know, it's it seems like a very obvious thing to do. So we'll see. Um, Still has to be discussed, I suppose, with uh, with everyone. But uh, we definitely consider it as a good option. You're also on the road with the Gentle Storm. You just performed with them. And um, how do you find the time to still write new music? Uh, uh, well, I don't go out. <laughs> I uh, I gave up my social life and uh, <laughs> and some sleep. Okay. <laughs> For the love of music and the love of music, yeah, we win. <laughs> the fans. <laughs> Among other projects, you're also um, you also performed at the Theater Equation. Tell me everything. Oh, everything! Oh my God! Well, you know, it was just uh, uh, for me being part of the Human Equation back then, 11 years ago. Right? Yeah. Uh, it was already a dream come true, you know. I was living in Mexico and to have this opportunity to be part of this project, it was already like... Yeah, it was, you know, I could have never dreamed of it. And now to be there on stage with all these people and, have, you know, being part of this amazing production because it was insane, you know, everything, everything made sense. Uh, it was amazing. It, yeah, I'm just you know I had to pinch myself a couple of times actually. Didn't it? Uh, <laughs> didn't it get better with the first show for the second one? The excitement. Oh yeah, of course. No, that the, the, the show really grew on the few performances that we have, and you know we were all a little slightly disappointed that it was over. You know because when we started performing, we had a whole week of rehearsals, and then seemed that felt like it was going like kind of slowly but at the moment that we started performing it was just like wham it's gone um, so we're like oh, we just had a few more shows and you know but oh well we enjoyed it every minute of it and you're also working on your solo project yeah this is a very busy woman <laughs> yeah, this has been a very busy year but i can't complain because it's all really good stuff yeah um, any release date set yet for that not yet, because um, I'm actually also debating on whether to do it myself or do it with a label. So uh, hopefully I'll have more uh, more clarity soon. But I do have whatever happens. I am gonna give a uh, one show, just one show, in Tilburg on the 29th of uh, November. So come and see it, because it's gonna be uh, the very first chance that you have to hear my new songs. Uh, what sound is it? What genre? What are your influences? Um, well, it's hard to explain, but I think the easiest way to describe it is, you know, the the lineup is it's just voice and a string quartet, and um, the, the the fact that I didn't have any. Uh, any background, you know, I could do whatever I want. So there's actually a lot of variety on the songs. There's one song that it's like totally classical, for instance, and there's uh, songs that are a little bit more, uh, yeah, well, a little bit more easy listening, but also very experimental, kind of like dark kind of stuff. So a little bit of everything. Nice. Yeah. Um, next month you're playing already, so. Uh, are you, are you playing yourself, um, the violin, or is it like weird for you the first time that you're not playing the violin? <laughs> it's not weird at all because uh, playing in a quartet is actually very specific. So uh, you really have to like know the people that you're playing with really well. And these guys that uh, that are gonna join me, they, you know, they they've studied for that. They they've perfected their craft. So. They, they do it wonderfully and, and I feel also, it's, it's also very nice for me to be totally 
focusing on the vocals because I, I have I wrote some very challenging parts for myself, so it's it's very it's very intense. I, I have to like totally concentrate on the voice. And so now they you know I give the best of me and they you know they do what they do best so it's all uh, it's all good. <laughs> oh, sounds amazing. Yeah, I'm really excited. Coming a little bit back uh, to Stream of Passion, you guys recorded a video of Sonata Artica cover. Um, how did your participation in that tribute? Uh, I think it was fun. Uh, fans, um, the fans put it together. Yeah, it's it's actually indeed a label uh, from uh, from fans from Sonata Arctica, and they just started this whole thing, and they called us, you know, like, would you want to do it? And we're like, yeah, why not? And uh, and then we started scouting for songs and. Uh, you know, like thinking about what would be best. And when I heard uh, I have a ride, I thought, yes, this is this is a perfect song for us. So, um, talking covers, you uh, do you have any other plans for covers? How do you handle covers in general? Do you ask the artist for permission or um, how do you do that? Uh, well, as long as uh, you pay the royalties, you know, to the composers, then it's okay. So you don't really have to. So it was it would have been very difficult, you know, to like knock on Radiohead store and say like, hi. I think if if you would have to ask for permission, then a lot of covering wouldn't take place, because <laughs> uh, you know you never know if uh, the songwriters appreciate it. But anyway, uh, no. So we just. Um, it just happens, you know, like uh, like with Street Spirit, we thought like maybe it would be nice, and then uh, and then Stefan came up with the idea, like, hey, why don't we do this song, but then like heavy, and we're like, yes. So immediately made it made sense, mm -hmm. and I think we wouldn't do it if it didn't make sense, you know. And how do you or how would you handle uh, people covering your stuff? Have you seen um, anything on YouTube? Yeah, I have. It's 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 lovely. It's very flattering, you know, that people would take the time to do it. I love it. So you won't be su suing anyone? <laughs> no, 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 no. Of course not. <laughs> um, your cater day has become a big thing. How do you? So I have to post my cater day picture today. Oh my it's God. Saturday. <laughs> How do you handle that? Do you plan ahead? Do you take a lot of pictures of monkey and then uh, take them on the road for it's when you know? A, it's a more indeed. We have spontaneous photos uh, photo sessions. Uh, <laughs> around the week, you know, when he's doing something uh, cute. Uh, Johan also helps me a lot, you know, because he also takes a lot of pictures of the cat. We're actually a little bit sad in a way that we have way too many pictures of the cat. <laughs> but uh, so by the time Saturday comes, I have some material that I could choose from, which is nicer than trying to make him do something cute at the moment, because, you know, cats, they do whatever they want. Yeah. <laughs> um, on the documentary we saw on um, Thursday, Thursday already, the documentary we watched on Thursday starring highs and brutal lows. Um, there, uh, you were there. It was. <laughs> tell me about that experience. It was. It was. Yeah, it was cool. I mean, I uh, I hadn't seen the movie yet, you know, and I didn't get to see all of it, unfortunately, because we had to get ready for the uh, for the show Thursday. afterwards. But uh, it was great, and I got a link already from Mark, so I can like watch it again. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. But it was—I think it was beautiful, you know—the parts that I saw. I think it's very nice that uh, you get to know the women in the movie uh, to another level that a lot of people never have access to. You know, like I know some of them, and I know how they are. Um, so some things don't come as a surprise, but I can imagine, like, if you're a fan, and. You know, because you know we get very personal, so I think it's kind of cool. It was, it was amazing. And um, a quote of you was, well, I don't remember it exactly, but you said something about uh, your childhood dream of um, getting married, having a house and kids. I, Is that still in the making? No, I actually, that's the only part that I didn't like all that much, because that was, that was part of a sentence, you know, and in a context where I was saying like, what I learned from my home country is that that was the image of success, you know? And uh, so it's kind of like, uh, I guess, kind of weird for, uh, for someone to choose for a path of music, you know? Like, that that's didn't really, uh, it, that, that idea didn't really fit me, didn't really fit who I was or how I felt, you know? So you're missing half of the story. Oh, okay. <laughs> So yeah. So you're not planning on kids for now? No, not really. 
No, music is your baby. So music is my baby. <laughs> I have a lot of babies here. Yeah. I have my solo baby and uh, my street of fashion baby, and they they demand basically all the time that I have. I, I don't think it would be fair for a you know for a baby, you know, like uh, we would have to put a lot of stuff aside, and uh, someone would end up suffering, I think. And furry kids are also kids, so monkey counts too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Great, thank you so much for your time. Anything else you want to say? Well, just, you know, uh, just send a big hello to all of your viewers and uh, um, and thank you guys for, yeah, for your support and for, you know, following us. And uh, if you can, come to November, November 29th to Tilbury and, uh, and see me play. It's going to be awesome.